Hello everyone, this is my second vlog and it's about decoupage. I will be showing you different examples of my work and my thoughts of the technique and how I enjoy it. Before we get started, please follow me on Instagram, Alana underscore May underscore artist and I hope you enjoy the work on there. This is a recent make that I created. I really enjoyed having a little refresher of the Technique decoupage because I haven't done it in a while and I really enjoyed doing it at the past. It allows me to be creative, think of different ways to approach different objects. Here I've used the same napkins but on two different items, the bottle and the spoon. Next, the following images are of examples of the Technique decoupage being used on a tote bag. With it being cotton, it was different using it on the bag, but I put a piece of cardboard underneath, like in between it, to protect it. By protecting it, it means that both of the sides of the bags wouldn't stick together. I used the napkins differently on each of the examples, like only using pieces of the napkin, or using different parts of the napkin to fill the whole bag. Also, I added some embellishments like pearls, ribbon, things like that. I really enjoyed doing it on the bag because it was different and plus it was a practical experiment because if you had the bottle, it's not as practical as using the bag. People can use the bag, which was good. I enjoyed using this technique on the bag and I hope to do it in the future. The next examples of the technique being used on bottles. The first example is the Coca-Cola bottle. I used small Coca-Cola glass bottles and used the napkins to match it. I thought it was a good idea to use similar and matching designs to make it nice and appealing. Here are other examples of the technique being used on a bottle. To get the texture effect in these photos, I used filler and mixed it with paint, which adds character to them. I've also added embellishments to them, for example, the ribbons and other decorative embellishments. I've used napkins and photographs in these bottles. I enjoyed using the technique on a bottle, but sometimes it was difficult because of the curved edges and the silhouette of the bottle because all of them are different and it was a challenge to make sure the napkin wouldn't rip or look secure with on the bottle but hopefully these turned out all right. Here are other examples of the Technique decoupage. I've used it on a photo frame which was different but appealing and a challenge for me. A vase also a challenge a wheelbarrow which could be used as a garden plant because it'll have a nice effect in the garden also plaques all of them are different in each of their own way because obviously the different shapes sizes overall i enjoy doing this technique and i hope to do it in the future i try to challenge myself to use different objects so the technique can be used on. Also on um, bigger scales so we we'll use a big canvas and pick the materials correctly so it'll be a nice masterpiece and I hope everyone can do the technique because it's a good way to relax and be creative. Thank you for listening and watching the vlog and I hope you enjoyed looking at the examples that are created thanks for listening and goodbye